You hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hallelujah. You big brother as always, Pastor Arthur, Pastor A. And you are now at Arthur Morris Ministries. Hallelujah. Listening to what God believes on my heart. Hallelujah. And I believe back to you. Sheer motivation, education, spiritual knowledge, wisdom, revelation um, from God. Hallelujah. Straight from the throne. Um, we love you here at Arthur Morris Ministries. Like we always love to do, we love to give you honor. Hallelujah. First, we always give honor to our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Trinity. Hallelujah. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And they're so precious, and they're so amazing, and they're so wonderful, and they're so kind, and they're so outstanding. Hallelujah. You have to reverence, you have to reverence the Trinity, you have to reverence God. Hallelujah. So, we're going to speak about reverencing God right now. Hallelujah. <laughs> With that said, hallelujah, by the Holy Spirit. You have to have respect for your maker. I say again. <laughs> you have to have respect for your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So vital, so crucial. The Bible speaks about having favor with God and having favor with man. In my spirit, hallelujah, this is how God taught me how to operate through the Holy Spirit. Reversing God, the knowledge by his precious Holy Spirit, telling me, look at your earthly father, look at him. My my father, my earthly father, I'm named after my, my earthly father. I thank God for the man of God's life. I love, I love my pops. I call him pops. Hallelujah. I love, I love how God um blessed me. Hallelujah. I was so fortunate to have um a, a parent that was aware of God's power. We're not gonna say um, my dad was super spiritual, but he had this type of reverence for God <laughs> that it resonated in my soul. It, it just, to this day, I can hear my pop's voice always. He's like, I don't play with God. <laughs> I don't play with God. When it gets tough, I always knew who to call on because of my, my father. Because he always taught me when whatever it was, even to the simplest thing, he always instilled in me on how to reverence God. And the beautiful thing he always taught me was, and I didn't even realize this until I got older. Hallelujah. As a grown man. Hallelujah. That it was so precious that he, he always used to tell me to call on God, regardless what it was, regardless what the situation was, call on Jesus. <laughs> He'd be like, to the simplest thing is, you may be trying to put something together. And my dad used to say, you know what, you need to back off. Don't keep on trying to make it happen, but ask God and back off. But that was the Holy Spirit in my father telling me how to really react to different situations that I was going to have to face in the future. By human nature, we want to force stuff sometimes. Just by being human, we want to force a lot of things sometimes. But if we just back off and ask our Heavenly Father, or even better, ask Him before we even get into what we are getting into first, because that's primary. That's why I thank God for my pops. Like I said, He wasn't super duper spiritual. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I, I thank God. I, I bless God for the man of God's life. He had that much love and reverence for God to, you know what? 
I don't play with God. You know what? I'm going to ask God. And as simple as that, saints, as simple as that, believers, listeners, as simple as you asking God what to do. The Bible says that we should acknowledge God in all our ways. Hallelujah. In all of them. And this is going to be a book that God is going to have me release. Hallelujah. <laughs> in the future. Hallelujah. I see it prophetically. But you need to acknowledge God in all your ways. Reverence God in all your ways. That's revelation behind the scriptures. Our God is sovereign. He's powerful. He's the great I am. He's a mighty God. He's a strong God. He's your strong tower. Reverence. That's the least you can do. <laughs> Reverence. Don't, don't play with God. He said, I'd rather you be hot or cold. Not lukewarm. Not lukewarm. Or I'm going to spew you out. Or throw you up. Regurgitate you out. His mouth. Meaning he don't have no respect for that. It's either heaven or it's either hell. I say again, it's either heaven with God or hell with Satan and his demons. And everybody else. But well, we ain't going to even get all the way into that. But the reverence in God, like the Bible says, the fear of God. <laughs> but when you study that fear of God is the beginning of it. what is that fear it's the reverence it's the respect hallelujah it's the reverence and the respect it's the beginning of knowledge hallelujah respecting God loving on him Having enough respect that you're watching what you say. You're not doing these different type of cuss words. These curses, word curses that you're speaking over people. Because it's real. The Bible says we'll be judged by every idle word that comes out of our mouth. But we ain't going to get all the way into that neither. But you have to watch what you say. To respect unto God. You was created in his image. Respect your temple. You can't create this. God did it for you. You're a living soul by God. Respect him. Respect his ways. Respect his earth. You can't create another sky. Why are you polluting it like that? Respect is simple and plain with God. Respect. Respect, but we're gonna leave you with that. Hallelujah. We can go on and on. Hallelujah, and it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> we love you here at All the Mars Ministries. We love you. We love you. Um, we honor you. We can't thank God enough for your beautiful lives. Hallelujah. And I just want to shout out to everybody that hits us up on Facebook, your inboxes, your prayer requests, your love that you show with the posts. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. We got some great things in store for you people that's um, always there for all the Morris ministries. We don't take it lightly. The Bible says it's better to give than receive. And we receive your love. We receive all your beautiful comments, your love that you inbox. And, and, and guess what? We have to respect that. Hallelujah. So we got something beautiful in store for, for everybody that God has placed on my heart that, that took care of us and still are taking care of us. Hallelujah. Sharing the posts and and loving on us, I'm telling you. Hallelujah. God sees you. <laughs> we see you. Hallelujah. So we salute you and we honor you. God bless you.